Go. Oh, hello, and of course, and the Frenchals. It's all welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, I'll be serving you something healthy. Yeah, if it's green and made of vegetables, it's probably healthy for you. So that's not too far off the point of what we're going to talk about today. This here is Mega Sceptile, the best healing and energy accelerating Pokemon that the Grass family has. And we have a great reason to revisit this card because of the new evolution Starmie, which has a nice space beacon effect that really synergizes with Mega Sceptile's attack, which, uh, e Thrill Trace, you did guess it. I bet you're gonna use Space Beacon with Mega Sceptile. I am gonna use Space Beacon with Mega Sceptile. So, I'm gonna explain to you how this Mega Sceptile Starmie deck yeah, and you're going to see it in three awesome tournament matches. Hey, I bet you're going to go into that expanded tournament again for that Pikachu deck box, right? Yes, yes. And I'm totally, totally a little bit more prepared this time. So let's get started. This month's intro is my remix of the Closer by the Chain Smokers. So now... Let's get to it. I'm going to start off with the regular basic Sceptile. What Mega Sceptile evolves from because it is very critical attack. So let's make an analogy. This here, he's a bad doctor for your enemies because he prescribes a bad medicine. First one, sleep poison. This medicine, it's weak. It only does 10 damage, but you flip a coin. If Tails, he screwed up and they're going to be pretty healthy. 10 damage, whatever. But if Heads, they are now poison and they are in the Miner's Coma. They're asleep. However, the sleep is only a 25% chance to work. That is low. 1 in 4 chance because you flip the coin once to see if it's asleep. And you flip the coin again to see if it stays asleep at the end of your turn. So that sleep could be strong. But because of the double coin flip, mm -mm. it's not, it, don't look rely on it. The poison, however, is much more reliable with the 50 50. And this combos with his second attack, which, if, uh, you know, the, they're poisoned, they're down, they're weakened somehow, they have some sickness, a uh, special condition. We'll put it that way. Unseen Cloud deals massive damage 130, two shot potential. Pokemon's past, present, future, nobody survives two attacks from this. So, and it only costs two energies. That's very efficient. So this is a very efficient bad doctor. Now, let's talk about the good doctor, Mega Sceptile, where he actually knows how to help people. So, Mega Level 220 HP prevents all your opponent's abilities, Pokemon's abilities from affecting this Pokemon. So, Oh, basically he's like, oh no, I'm a doctor. If they do something nasty to me, I can take care of myself. It's an ancient trait, which you don't see anymore. And we'll never see any more prints of this, but uh, if it's here, go ahead and uh, you have to appreciate it. It's not going to be uh, useful every game, but when it shows up, it's a very nice convenience. Now, let's talk about the good doctor's attack. Shagged Saber, he helps his patients this time. He helps bench Pokemon gives them two extra energies in any way you like and if they receive that extra energy they will be fully healed back to full life that's right no matter how hurt they are in the brink of death fully heals them and you get the extra energy on top of the healing so you are one good doctor mega step down almost two shot potential Almost to push push up. It's like I'm a doctor, man. I, I help people. I do that. I do it better than combating. But we really need you to fight, Mr. Doctor, because you are going to be the star of this deck. So we need to help that damage with Ariados, Mr. Scrooge. He hates everyone that's not the color of money, so they will be poisoned. Luckily, this doctor is the color of healthy vegetables and, and, and money too. So he's completely fine from this poison. This poison does 10 extra damage guaranteed at the end of your turn. So, oh my bad. Sceptile with the 10 damage can two shot itself and other Pokemons that are mega level, fighting Fury Belt level, 
and that's why it's necessary to have the Aridos. I played a bunch of games without Aridos, and just only Starmie. Nope, had to put it in there. I could not trade with my opponent. So, Starmie, how are you gonna help our doctor out? Well, our doctor, he needs some medicine. So, Space Beacon, what's during your turn? You can pay any card. Turn any card into an energy retrieval. That gets two energies from your discard back into your hand. And hey, that's exactly the amount of energies we need for our doctor. How does the energy even get there? Well, this is standard, so we are gonna use the retreat. They come from the doctor himself, because he can attach them to himself or uh, one of his friends in the back, preferably another doctor, another mega septile, so you could just retreat, attack, then retreat again, and just keep on retreating and refilling your energies right back up with Jagged Saber. Completely heals them off, and because this thing provides the energies and lets you recycle them, you could just have an infinite loop of healing. So, that's the Starmie combo. Something that this deck wants to achieve. So, I think that's the main combo. We're gonna try to quickly go through the remaining of decks. Now, alright, I need a backup attacker. It's gonna be Verazian, because you... Or doctor yourself, two Pokemons from the discard go straight back into your hand. So, it's a nice way to recycle if anything goes down. And prize count, if you're losing, you, for two energies, pretty much have two-shot potential. It's almost like Unseen Claw, but the condition is, you must have less prize cards. No more prize cards left in your opponent, which means you're losing. They're de deleting your Pokemon, so that is a special condition. Two energies. Very good. Now, what else? I have extra draw power for one single shaman. If you do not have a shaman, then just try to squeeze in extra trainer mail. Extra draw supporter. It is just there for emergencies. Speaking of which, we have N, we have Sycamore, we have Giovanni. Because sometimes I need a little bit of extra damage somewhere. And he does 20 extra damage for a painful draw supporter. I mean, a painful supporter cost. You can only choose between the 20 damage and the 5 extra cards. The Straw Supporter is not as good as these two. But because the 20 damage is sometimes necessary, I put one in my deck. So, we have Verse Seekers, so we can call in multiple Giovannis if we needed. But mostly they are going to be for Sycamores and, and Lysanders. And we have some extra healing on top of the full health healing in case we can't get uh, the combo up in time. Now, okay. I'm almost done, guys. I'm almost done. We have Ultra Balls, Trainer Mails, Town Maps, some Professor's Letter. Normally, I would not run this, but because we need two energy cards for the combo, one letter. One letter is just enough. Now, Level Balls, they work for both Starmie because of 90 hit points, and they work for Ariados. These are key supporting Pokemon, so some of them is necessary to get it out there. Enhance Hammer! Special energy cards, they're nasty. They really quickly powerful up, power up some very dangerous Pokemon. Mega Mewtwo's, Snorlax GX, so this will help buy us some time. And the Fighting Fury Belt. Sometimes we may not be able to get another Mega Sceptile, so we're just gonna upgrade it to near Mega Level HP, boost its damage all the way up, so it's a quick, uh, quick solution to power up your basic Pokemons. Now, we have Karen. I would normally not run Karen. This will be bra. this will be super odd, but I'm gonna go into the Expanded Torment, so if I run into Night Marge, Battle Compressor Heavy uh, strategies where they discard Pokemon, this will help me counter it, so that's specific for this deck, or uh, if we're going into Standard. Alright, anything else? I think that's it, so, Dr. Sceptile, let's see what you can do. You know what? Get lucky with the Machamp. I think I could do that again. Yeah. So, Mega Sceptile Starmie. Welcome to another Mega Sceptile match. So, we are going against a water deck. Huh. Okay. Well, let's see what this is. This Manaphy is getting charged up. So, Anne's going to one shot my star. You. Let, let's focus back on the death match doll. This is going to be my remix of Ignite. From the anime, Star Sword Art Online. 
So, let me go ahead and, so let's see, I need a discard. I don't need another stadium. I don't need another water energy. We could pull a Shaman, but I have Giovanni's right here. I want to charge up my main Pokemon, which is Sceptile. Sceptile, gonna go ahead and load you up with an energy. So now, Giovanni, it's kind of like a mini, uh, yeah, this is kind of like Octillery or mini Shaman. Shaman's there right there, too. So, we're gonna follow it with both. And see what else we get. Okay. Starmie. Oh, if you get KO'd, well, you'll be avenged. But there is a. Uh, it's gonna be really hard when you have only one star you left. So, this we may not be able to see the Starmie combo with up with this. He's gonna get two. Oh. There's no more Pokemon. There's no bench Pokemon. He's gonna have two energies, attack Mineral Pump, and this brings out Sept. Oh, easy. I have weakness. I already do 60 damage. I don't need to do anything else. You just got squeezed. You just squeezed by. So, lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. Just to get the KO instantly like that. Well, that's good. So, we'll, we'll have to just jump and wait for the next one. All right. Let's move on. You know, for some reason, Ash... Maybe a grass user, grass Pokemon trainer. Like if he was a gym leader, he'd be grass type. Why? Well, he has every single grass starter from each generation. He's got Bubba Sword, Chikorita, Grovi, no, the, the, the turtle, Sceptile, Torterra, and yeah, Rowlet now. You know, uh, you know something's up with this. So, anyways, let me focus back on the game now. It's like, we want to see you play. Welcome to another Mega Sceptile match. I am going to play my remix of Bring It On My Destiny from the anime. Oh, boy. The Gray Man. The newer version of The Gray Man. So, let's get started. Finally, 100. Focus. Let me focus back onto the game. I'm gonna go ahead and charge up my Sceptile. What is this last bench space gonna be for? I think it's enough for third Sceptile. So, we uh, we lucked out by having a pretty bad hand the very first round. I was forced to play Lysander as my first move to shrink my hand for the Shaman. So, all I can use is par Paralysis and I can use, well, Street Shot too. So, let's go ahead and Poison and maybe get the Paralysis on you. Wait, yeah, because the stadium's out. Ah, gotcha! So, you're paralyzed, and you're poisoned. I could retreat next turn and smack this pretty hard. So, luckily, this deck so far, there isn't any major threat. A jamming net goes onto the Sceptile. Oh, this prevents me from mega evolving it with a uh, Spearling. So, that's half bad. I do 20 less damage. That's not. That's still a two-shot for me. And so, he really has to charge up another Pokemon. It is going to be a Pidgeot. Do we discard a... Enhanced Hammer, so uh -oh. Mega Pidgeot will always force a, me to retreat, and that's not good. I'm not quite ready for that. So, am I going to destroy all my Verse Seekers? No, we are not going to do that. Let's go ahead and retreat. And now you're still poisoned. In fact, everybody's poisoned. Hey. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop you down. Make sure you get the Spear and and you don't get none of those jamming nets anymore. So, I'm going to send uh, you out. We are now really stuck. Let's go ahead and retreat. Yeah. He is spamming a lot of uh, heart icons. Hang on, let me let me finish this. There is nothing else that I really want. I could potentially get a Starmie out, but I may need this energy. And let's make sure that the jamming net comes on. So no, we're gonna use Unseen Claw. I would just say a nice hello back. And we got a nice bit of damage on this guy. But, uh oh, Pigeon's out. It's gonna severely wound me. So he he has a free retreat. He can go ahead and put an energy on Mega Pitch and slap me. But the energy is gonna be a wow, well, lots of special energies. Jirachi would be so nice here. So what happened was, well, it's not a regular energy. I was about to say if that was the max elixir, it could easily go on to here. This is looking like the you know, Sharon right here. Nope, it is really an expanded max elixir. Will go on to definitely evil tall. Yeah, metal energy. There's like every single energy of this type. Gonna retreat home. Oh, I have to finish this later. Evil ball hurts. I'm gonna trade with this. I am definitely gonna trade with this. Draw supporter. 
Not quite. Not quite, but this will get me a star you. Or I can evolve into another Sceptile, which, let's see. I'm not really ready to attack. He, he can one-shot me. He can two-shot me, actually, next turn. So, let's go ahead and do this. I will evolve my star you now, because if this energy's... The energies from Sceptile goes down. I'll need them back into my hand next turn. So, here we go. Sceptile, let's do this. I'm not going to activate that yet. I already played energy this turn. It's already poisoned. Let's go ahead and use Unseen Claw. No, we're just going to repeat that again. Dangerous energy stung me a little bit. But I would have taken lethal damage no matter what. So, it's halfway gone. With Starmie guaranteeing me the energies. I don't see anything that can stop me except a Hex Mania. And, oh boy, Mega Pitch is coming out. I'm gonna get the first attack on me, so I really want this Mega Sceptile to come out if possible. He's gonna retreat at home! Jerk. Whew, that was close! Okay, so, these are potentially prize cards I could take, but by managing his, using his free retreat, I lose nothing. Oh. Okay. He loses nothing. He loses nothing. At least I have an energy here, and I'll be able to charge up another Sceptile. Even another Mega Sceptile to attack. So, we are not going to destroy that Mega Sceptile. We are going to destroy the Ultra Ball instead. Let me go ahead and grab these energies back up. I'll go ahead and attach the energy right here. Let's go ahead and Mega you up too. Now, I think I may save this energy. No, I'm not. I need the energy. Don't use that! Good thing I can uh, do this. Alright, now I can poison you. I'm gonna use the Jacket Saber. This allows at least the Sceptile to be able to attack next turn if he does force me to switch. If not, that's okay. So he's... Are you messing with me? Woo! That was close! So he survives with so many weak EX. Potentially prize card. So, gotta use a Mox Cyclone. 130. You know what, Sceptile, go ahead, come up. I need an energy card, whatever. I am going to for sure get an energy card. I don't, will not be enough to heal it, but I have no prize card, so let's just go ahead and do this. It doesn't matter what attack I use. Let's just go ahead and finish, finally, our first KO. And if we get Lysander, we'll get the rest after. So, if I had energy, I would have loved to pull this out. Gengar comes out. He is not giving me any, you know, free hits. So, it comes here. Oh, no. It can attack me from back here. I need an energy card, which I will get. It's one of them is right here. So, Dite Attack. Gonna go ahead and try to snipe this off. Nope. Nope. I do not need anything else. Is Sceptile down there? Okay. I do need something else. I changed my mind. Let's go ahead and delete that. Uh, bring out uh, these two cards back. Oh. Okay. I was like, maybe I was should have used Space Beacon. Let's go ahead and use N. Get four cards. We're now... Oh, thank you. One energy. One energy. I will now... I want to see what's in my prize cards. I want Sceptile. Why are you spamming that man? So... Let me concentrate on the game. I'm gonna go ahead and poison this. Let's go ahead and use Jagged Saber. Half damage or a two shot potential. And you have to have the Ariados to do that. If the Fighting Fear Bell came in, we would need the Ariados even to help out Mega Sceptile with the poison, which I probably said that somewhere. So I'm at full health. I do not have any access to Lysander's just yet. We are just stuck on cards, but luckily, we are very self-sufficient. He's gonna get a second energy night attack on maybe my Starmie? Yeah, but I'm gonna finish you off now this turn. So, let's go ahead and attack. Well. Hey, he, he had, you know, Evil Tall was the strongest card here. But I think with the sustain that I had, he was not. He would not been able to break through it. Like maybe he did see the combo where I could retreat, use Darmy to get out my cards, and that would have net me two more prize cards. So we couldn't really, really see the full combo, but it was right there. So let's move. Well, here we are. This is it. 
Last round of torment. Let's see if we can get. Uh, let's see if we can do this. So, welcome to the third match of this tournament of the Mega Sceptile Dex. So, I am going to play my remix of. You for sure know what this remix is. It's just not available yet. So, let's do this. All right. Uh, there's nothing else I can do. This is not the worst event. I mean, this could be something. This could be a shaman. So, take a look. It is going to be an Eevee. I'm feeling good. Let's see if this is a draw supporter. It is a stadium, and there's a shaman. So we know shaman exists. Excellent. So I will go ahead toss down the stadium. Let's go. Ahead. What's behind door number two? Four energies. That's been unlucky. So that's a big miss. However, we can pull out our. We don't need Lysanders yet. We can first secret those back, and we have not pulled out a first draw supporter. So that's sort of big. Come on, shaman. I really just need energy. I can hold out for a bit for everything else. So, come on. Perfect. There's nothing else I need in this hand. I really want the Spirit Link before I Mega Evolve this. So, there. There's that Spirit Link. And if we can get a Level Ball, Ultra Ball, that'd be something good. So, what's going on with number three? Take a look. Sycamore's right there. Don't need anything here. Okay, we are done. We're going to go ahead and drop this down. I'll make sure the Spirit Link shut comes on so you can evolve next turn. That's it. There is no Ariados. There is no Staryu yet. So setting up the combo is a bit complex. We see Mew. We see Lugia. Okay. Those are a problem. We see Dendena, which is... Uh, this is nope, this is not available anymore. But it's not, a, it's not that great of a card. It's kind of like a mini Lugia. So... Energy comes onto me. What attack are you gonna copy? Probably something from here, but you are gonna get one shot at because of your low hit points. So I'm I'm a little happy with that. Mega! Oh. A bursting balloon. That's not nice. My last and my only star me is gonna go down. So, hey, this this version. Do you recognize that one? So Ariados, that's nice to see you. I can automatically attack you, but I take some damage. Let's go ahead and get the spinner racked out. And attacking that will severely wound me if he combos up with that. I'm gonna play it safe, guys. I don't wanna risk it. We're gonna wait till next turn. Bursting balloon. Very powerful. But he looks like maybe you're stuck on guards. I have time! And losing uh compromising my mega septile would be terrible. So, I would have lost 60 damage, would have, would have brought me to 100, and, ooh, I can't do that, 60. So, I do not know what else, you know, he has in his deck. Energy Crush, that is one energy wonder. The more energies I have, the more damage it does. Luckily, Subtile, I only have up to 10 energies in my deck, so it cannot two-shot me, no matter what. A Mega Subtile, a Subtile, yes. So, there's one energy, it's gonna get one good slap on me. Hey, this is here. I don't have to worry about anything else. Let's just go ahead and heal myself up. Use as much of my resources, you know, as wisely as possible. So, this is a one-shot. I don't need anything else. Yeah, go ahead and get the Sceptile. Sceptile is my core. Let's go ahead. Oh, I can't poison it. That's okay. It is grass. I thought, like, man, but it has 100 hit points. So, I have no grass energies. I already attached it. And since I don't need any healing, I don't need anything else. Oh, I don't need an Aria dose. And no room for Star You, Star Me. So, the complexity of setting up a Star Me is a bit tough. And you, you kind of wasted the space work, but you don't need it too badly. So, Mew can use. Mew can use Arrow Ball. You can actually use Deep Hurricane if he has a DCE, but it does not have enough hit points to survive my Aria dose subtile combo. So, alright. Yeah, that's the strongest attack you can copy, Arrow Ball. And looking at all his draw supporters, he had a Battle Compressor. No, no, not Battle Compressor, Battle Reporter. I say Battle Compressor because that's just the more popular <laughs> card to go around. So, we could end. But I see that he's stuck. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, shoot. He did get the DCE. Wow. Deep Hurricane, delete my stadium, and I will be severely wounded. He will one, sh he will take out my Pokemon in the next move. You look stuck. 
I do not need an N, nor do I need that last Ari though. So, I really, I'm going for the win. I'm not going to help him out with giving him four extra cards. I wish I had another energy. But I don't. I don't even have a star you set this up. Let's go ahead and retreat. I will save your life. I need this energy right here. You, Verazian, I feel like I'm gonna be ahead, so I'm not gonna, you know, toss down the Verazian. Let's go ahead and see if we can get these back up. I don't need the Aridos, but the Space Beacon, maybe I may get a wrench space eventually. So, we are gonna use Jagged Saber. Take this! Halfway. My stadium was deleted. Otherwise, it would have been a one shot. Oh, I didn't poison you. <laughs> oh, totally forgot about that. I was thinking I need to poison in order to use the attack. But if I had, you know, poisoned him, I would have. He would have died this particular turn, like at the end of his turn. So, woo, arrow ball hits me, rather hard. One twenty, and with another damage. Oh, so. Let's put the energy here. I need another energy, but this time I'm also gonna sick him more because ah, wait, I could just heal myself. If I heal myself, I will not die, but I will definitely be stuck. That's a big choice. I'm gonna get as much use out of you as possible. Let's go ahead and heal you up. You now cannot get me one shotted. I'm not gonna poison you. This is when I shouldn't poison you. So you get a he gets an extra pass, and I will take uh, two prize cards. Wait, nope, there are no energies. But uh, you know, just ask, just asking to make sure. I, he's like, I can't see your hand, man. So I can see way up here, you know, trainer. So you just have to deal with it. Sycamore, yes, we are not gonna play end. The Dena is gonna come up this time. So what's next? We want to get rid of this Lugia. Oh, energy short, gonna try to weaken me. So, entrainment. Those energies are back. Okay, this is good. And this is gonna soften me enough for where Lugia can get the KO. So, I, I see where it's going. This is only gonna do 40 damage, unless he's using entrainment instead of energy short, which is good. This means more time for me. He's stuck in draw power. His big EXs are coming out. I wanna keep him stuck. So I'm gonna keep on playing Sycamore and not play these two. So we got the Space Beacon. Let's go ahead. No, for sure I do not need to poison. I do not need to poison this. Let's go ahead and attack. And we are gonna attach an energy with the attack instead of, you know, just throwing it on. I wanted to save these energy cards. They are very valuable. Two more prize cards, I'll be able to nail it. But, none of my attacks can actually hit that hard, so Lugia looks like the next card that can come out. And, he just is been starving on draw supporters. Now, uh oh, Mewtwo, energy absorption. <laughs> oh, okay, what's going on here? He's got the DC down there. He can quickly charge up and use something quite powerful. Okay, so, this he could have attacked. He could have attacked, but he's going for oh, this big guy. DCE is up. Can I survive attack? Yes. I don't think there is anything major I should do now. Let's go ahead and get extra energy just to be sure. Now, I could have been sitting up if I, this Razian was not here. I could have been setting up with a Staryu, but I think this is okay. I'm not going to attach it just in case I need this energy to retreat or to attack. He can lie still Lysander. I got the escape rope, but having this is going to be good. So, Gengar Spirit Link. There is a big variety of uh, Pokemon cards here. So, if I get this, I get the game. Man, Bench Space. You see why Hoopa is not here? I was not counting. I was like, yeah, just slap this Verazian down. Who knows? She could have run into, running into something uh, crazy. So, he heals it up. But that's going to be a... If I get the stadium, that's going to be a GG. Let's see if we can get the stadium. I know it's in my deck. Not really. No. 
subtitle. Go out, finish this. I was hoping they do it uh, in a nicer way, but this will do. Unseen Claw, 140 damage with the poison. Last, last, last guard. Twelve Pokemons, twenty-five trainers, twenty-three energies. So, in order to make this, uh, to help with this deck, you only need up to fourteen. Put it into a trainers, uh, draw supporters to keep the card flow going. Which there are some Sharon Tiernos, and he wouldn't have been stuck. So it wasn't. He wasn't. He just needed more draw supporters, and it would have been a much more dangerous uh, last uh, fight. So, all right. We did it. We we were pretty lucky with this tournament. So, got another Pikachu skin. Woo! And from now on, put that R. Make sure you're watching that R. You Make sure you have the bench base for Star. You. And this is why Hoopa isn't there. That's that. Let's move on. Well, it looks like you've made it to the end. Thank you. And congratulations, so it is time we rate this deck. Let's break it down. Now, damage. Hmm. Mega Sceptile, Sceptile, both of you get a B. Two shot potential, exactly two shot potential with a bit of help from Aridos. So, B, two shot A, one shot, you're B. Reliability. Something must evolve in order to get that two shot. Aria Dose is required for Sceptile to be able to chain its Unseen Claw. Or, you must evolve Mega Sceptile for it to kinda two-shot with its Jacket Saber. You still probably need Aria Dose when you're facing those Fighting Fury Bell opponents, so we're just gonna give you a B. Multiple or some evolution is required to get it out, so there's that limiting factor. And maybe you have to get a third evolution down Starry to really receive the full healing combo. So, there is a setup time there. B. Payoff! It's just a two shot, and that healing somehow. I always felt I was starving throughout the entire matches. There's always something I wanted, so. Maybe it's because I couldn't set up all the evolutions as quickly. Maybe I should have an extra Starmy, or better yet, just. Just use trainers. I could function quite well with just Aridos and Sceptile and not deal with a Starmie, even though it's convenient when it's out. I felt like mainly I was starving for the energies, because uh, I only just just have enough, while Sceptile gives me the ability to use more that I can't use all the time. So sometimes hey, I couldn't even use any energies for the healing, so always starving with the setup. Hmm. All right, so the payoff, we're just gonna give it as a B. It wasn't as exciting as I thought, even with all the healing. So overall, B, 7.5. This, I, I wouldn't even need the star, but just use energy re reset, energy retrieval, fishermen. Those three trainers could help you out. You don't even need to set this Pokemon up. So that's that. I think Starmie, because it is an evolution Pokemon, it would work better if it helped a more basic deck, such as Volcanion. Yeah, discarding energies, getting them immediately to your hand. Yeah, you might be a better fit, so we're gonna try it out with Volcanion on Wednesday. So, okay, I think that's it. I mean, don't forget to like, subscribe, because you're gonna get more great videos just like this. If you really do, thank you. I give updates a little bit earlier on Facebook and Twitter than YouTube. So if you check those out, you probably saw and knew this was here and I played this before ahead of time. My remixes, they can be found on Spotify, iTunes, the YouTube channel playlist right at the very bottom of my channel. And the Spotify link, I believe is on the, at the top, it's one of the buttons. It's, like, it's everywhere, Donald. You should be more specific about this. So I think that is it. Thank you, Integrals, the Frenchals. I will see you back in my kitchen next time, this Wednesday, for Volcanion EX. Yeah. I also am starting a Winnie Mister Winter Mister class up for government, so I can graduate next semester. So that's yeah, that's gonna be a fun uh, holiday for me.
Anyways, that's that. Thank you, any girls, the Frunchels. I'll see you next time.